Firstie I ever fell in love with. Um, this is gonna sound horribly lame. I listen to some weird music. It was actually ELO, Electric Light Orchestra, their greatest hits album. I really liked this Silver Chair album. My mom at least was a really big ELO fan, and so the drill was in the morning to get you up for school, she would have uh, music play. You heard that like Mr. Blue Sky started playing? You're just like, oh heck yeah, I am the coolest kid in town. I remember it was right before the year 2000, and they had this song, We'll Make It Up To You in the year 2000. So I made this mix, and I put that song on it, and on New Year's Eve, I remember playing it with all my friends, and we all thought we were like so hardcore and awesome. I got this from an uh, acquaintance. But I don't think that was real love. That was like middle school crushing, you know? And then I got the case from a different acquaintance. The first CD that I really loved and that uh, um, a lot of memories I have attached to was Iron Maiden Power Slave. I ripped this off my cousin. I don't think she ever missed it. It's because I heard of Iron Maiden at a skate park, so I have very special ties of Iron Maiden f to that skate park, which no longer exists. What I'm saying is this is just completely uh, lifted CD set, but it's complete. My all-time favorite CD would have to be So Long Astoria from the Ataris. This album represents basically my junior and senior year in high school, and I just really connected with it. I think it was Take Off Your Pants and Jacket. That one just brings so many memories, and it just spoke to me. I guess it sounds lame, but yeah. I can easily say Sticks and Stones, New Found Glory. This is one of the ones that you can listen to every song, every time, and not have any problems. Manchester Orchestra, I'm like a virgin losing a child, would have to be my all-time favorite album. To me, this is like pure, it's magical, I love it. My all-time favorite CD would have to be uh, Radiohead, OK Computer. It's got great hits on it. The Strokes is this it. This is probably the most relevant album in my life. And I just remember thinking, wow, this is really good in a different way that I didn't know existed. The Five Senses, Touch. You hear one song and it just brings back a flood of memories. From your first kiss to hanging with the bros. <laughs> Smell. Sometimes I'll be driving in my car and something will come up on my iPod, a song, and I can honestly, like I feel like I'm just back to the same day that, that I have this memory. Like, I'll always think of things that happened in high school and there's a song that, that is paired with it. Like, even smells will come back to me. And just like, the feelings that I was feeling, just, you know, just so infinite. S sound. Literally, there are certain songs that if I listen to, I feel those same feelings again. People's faces pop into my head again. Taste. For me, it's almost as if the CDs that I own are in and of themselves narrations for different parts of my life. It would com be completely possible to take those in the order that I bought them in and play them in that exact order. And that would pretty much, I mean, if you knew the memories tied to them, you would have an exact biography of my life. Feel. You listen to a CD, usually somewhat recently, after it comes out, and you kind of play it and you kind of get used to that and it kind of ties in a time in your life. People start reminding you of songs and all that kind of stuff. And then there's music, is the sixth sense, because your senses are what bring memories to you. 